It's midnight! <laughs> it's time for the haunting to begin! Okay, well, I guess we're starting with vision. It's like All right. yeah, super, here. super short, and it's oh. gonna take, probably gonna take us, uh, Vice and I, a while to get our composure down, depending on which story it is. Yeah. Okay. okay. What do you mean composure? Oh, you'll. You'll find that yeah. out easily. <laughs> but it was nothing on my He's still had a couple of marks from the last mission as well. A couple of small scratches down his le left arm, a small cut on his leg, that hat. That hat? That hat. That hat. That hat. That hat. <laughs> what? Uh, okay. Um, that was quick. <laughs> How dare you? You take that pun back right now. Okay. <laughs> I just realized that was a pun. <laughs> oh, my head's Stop it. Welcome to hell, boys. Oh, God. Fancy having you fought and told? Let Marasmus tell you! The voice boomed. The human held out his hand. N name's Greenblade. <laughs> he shook Sonic's hand. <laughs> <laughs> Scout, it's Halloween. Heavy must be scaring people. The giant human that identified him. Oh, that's no shit. <laughs> <laughs> There's the quotation no... marks weren't there! <laughs> there isn't! There is none! So it doesn't end it! What is it? <laughs> Good! Good! Indeed! And you are Sonic the Hedgehog! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Greenblade picked up the wooden hammer that was presumably from the strongman machine nearby. Okay, so that thing is giant? <laughs> that thing is incredibly giant! <laughs> Use your fists! They're a stock weapon for crying out loud! <laughs> Heavy ran at Mar- Mo- <laughs> Mar- Marasma- Mus- Marasma- What is what? that? How I'm pretty is sure that? it's Marasmis. Marasmis? Okay, we'll go with Marasmis. Marasmis. So they don't interfere with the flight of story. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Fourth wall break! <laughs> well, he's not wrong. <laughs> Let's just get this over with. Wizard shopping is on soon. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that- wait, Marasmus is that actually a lie? Because I feel like that is a line. No, no it's not. It's not. Oh, Marasmus darn. loves I, to watch I would this know. <laughs> Anyway, I'm getting sick of fighting this guy. He picked up the hammer and threw it at Marasmus, making him explode. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't even explode in game, he like does a death animation. Yeah, he like fades out. Stop. No. This in this one, he explodes. Your immense hands. <laughs> Molded by you from the beginning. Child of the mountains. Rooted as rock, gainly as goats. What? Snowed on sun with a lucky stone smart. I'm Erasmus now. <laughs> Fuck it, fuck it, Erasmus. You kind of started off as Erasmus, anyhow. Yeah, fuck it, we're gonna read this as Erasmus. Your immense hands molded you from the beginning, child of the mountain, rooted as rock, gainly as goats, snowed on sun with a lucky stone spire. They go with me, your fate shapers. I can fall into them and see your vast mirrors of you. Their stars sparkle. Roaming north and south of me, turning me into flawless diamond. <laughs> so balanced, so revered. Later, inside you, inside <laughs> me, your hands left their prints unerring paths. To the cool waters of my core, the earthquakes of your voice shook my old earth into life. My Eden, you said. My new world! And I, Reassembled whole in your experiment. Became a dreamer who fell in love with you. And you knew it. I literally cried! Why must you do these things? Why did you why did you choose this one? What the hell? What's wrong with you? I'm crying! <laughs> Marasmus writes poetry for the head. Who is a Oh my god! Red Heavy was born at that 
he has nothing to do right now and checks some travel directories. And then he sees the Green Hill Zone. Heck yeah! Follow me! The engineer tells Heavy and leads him to a to an special made teleporter, which is has <laughs> generators and a computer. Heavy packed his bag with his stuffs and sandwiches, selected the Green Hill Zone on Moby. Me and my sandwich, sandwich, sandwich. He then sees Anne Good Hill with Anne Palm to sit down and eat his picnic. He didn't finish his sentence as Heavy pulls on his cheeks and he thinks it's a mask, but the hedgehog pushed him back a little. I said, this is not Anne Costume, and my name's not Scout, it's Sonic the Hedgehog. As Sniper walks to the ledge of Two Fort, he lifts his Sniper Steady. Come here, mates, you pussies! Sniper! <laughs> Watch a sniper sniping. Oh, snipers! Fly enters undisguised, and billions of sentries are everywhere. Ha! Spy yelled, but sentry shot missiles and bullets. Damn! Hi, buddy. The spy, in brackets, engineer, <laughs> says to the sniper. Since when did he get Jurati? How? The spy thinks as he runs, not watching where he's going till. Pow! right in front of another sniper. He turns and another, and another, and another. Damn Piss. you! Spy yelled at them. Katie Jeans was in a sushi bar where the only living patrons are first time customers. She was having a bad day and the sushi bar seemed to be a good place to end it all. Meanwhile- <laughs> Hang on, what? <laughs> this is in the TF2 tag. Hang on, what the fuck? She went to a sushi bar and decided Yes, this is a good place to end my life. <laughs> obviously, <laughs> obviously the best place to kill myself is surrounded by weeaboo crap. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jordan was in a gargantuan cavern within the moon, hollowed out by a secret... Is the sushi bar on the moon too? <laughs> by a secret... wait, by a secret society of hermaphrodites using devices designed by Da Vinci and built by Hitler. This is in the Team Fortress tag! <laughs> the New Mexican fired a ballistics missile at the sushi bar! What? Wait, what? What?! <laughs> I thought they were trying not to end her life! <laughs> <laughs> she went to the nearest river in an attempt to drown herself, but was raped by the dead spy <laughs> and left him mostly unscathed. Oh. What?! Jordan, still on the moon, fired all the missiles at the Earth. It was an accident, but it destroyed most of the world and killed all but 18 men and one woman in New Mexico. And the men, slightly disoriented by the missiles from the moon, continued to fight each other in teams of nine. One was called Red and the other was called Blue. And that's the end of the story. <laughs> that's the time. <laughs> that's the canon backstory for TF2. Some random... <laughs> Some random people fired missiles at a sushi bar, and then the world ended except for New Mexico. <laughs> and the way Maddox <clears throat> was acting was akin to a scared puppy. Can't sleep, mate. N nine, I I had an alfriantum er, nightmare. You take the bed. I'll be fine if I don't get a good sleep, but you need it on the battlefield. I'll just sit up at my roost all day with my jaws and eat coffee. Well, I was born in <laughs> South Australia. My dad left me when I was 10, so I was raised by my mother. We ran an animal rehab center, so I was around the native wildlife all my life. Soon after, I learned to hunt from my neighbor. Mom wasn't too happy about that, but I brought in a lot of money from it and hated it though. Growing up, caring for animals, I saw how human- Oh, and humans could be a rhythm, so I killed them as last as possible, with as little pain as possible. Eventually, I got tired of killing innocent animals and moved on to humans. Worked for the Australian government to hunt down dangerous criminals. One day, got a letter inviting me to join TF. 
They said my skills were what they needed and I was drafted into blue. Oh, I rambled, didn't I? I'm sorry. <laughs> the war, huh? Well, don't let it bother you. Oh, it's like they say, we don't kill you makes you stronger. Oh, you survived and you're getting stronger you are embarrassing for it, right? Me as an Australian. <laughs> what? Medic He's embarrassing me as an Australian. <laughs> you're welcome! <laughs> Bull, you're strong. You have to be strong if you're a medic. You're always right there in the line of fire to make sure everyone's doing it. Okay. If it were for you, if it were for you, everyone be dead. You used to be mine when I was just a lad. You can uh, use him for the night. You're just mumbling. <laughs> Medic noticed Sniper's blush when he pulled out the small bear. I know that a good moment's rest will help you out, but you can never find that rest. Follow me when the battle starts, okay? You can rest here, mate. Whenever you need to, just knock on the doors three times and say... Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> And tell me about where you grew up. <laughs> Let's go, medic. We get a celebrate tonight. <laughs> Who? What the hell are you doing showing our rocket tonight? Soldier, we won the battle. Let everyone sleep. Stop scaring everyone. Because <laughs> <laughs> you was a <laughs> medic when they hear themselves. Didn't do your part in the battle. <laughs> Where's that maggot, the medic? That chicken shit ran away from the battle today when we needed him most. He fled like a chicken. You can sleep here tonight, mate. I'll go make my bed up front. He stood up and turned to head up front. When he felt a tug on his PJ pants, he turned to see the medic, blushing as he looked down. How short is he? Surprisingly. The tugging feeling inside my pants is coming from inside my pants. <laughs> Holy shit, mate. Are you, are you trying to touch my penis? <laughs> no. Oh, have you now? My penis is the best penis. You might not be able to handle it. Call me long distance, you Jack, but not for my sniping skills, but for the fact that my, my penis reaches long distances. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> and grabbed a clean glass. Filling it with Gerardi. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> filling, filling it with water. <coughs> water from a jug. Of course, Sniper failed to realize that he was being watched. After Sniper closed his eyes, a red shadow moved across the window, disappearing into the night. Spy then took out his cock and masturbated. <laughs> That's not a story. Later, stick to the script. We don't have room <laughs> stick for this. To the script. Sniper guessed he knew everything about his teammates, including their weaknesses. He'd have to tell Spy to kidnap the men one day so they could experience a true threesome. His eyes darted around, spotting his medic healing their heavy. The young German's medigun crackled, and Sniper grinned as heavy was fucked. He spotted the opposing Sniper. Some, for some reason, he looked exactly like Twilight Sparkle. He smelt the distinct smell of fancy cigarettes. <laughs> squeaked as a pair of arms around him wrapped <laughs> five and five then five spy five. had sex with medic for 50,000 years but sex but sex but 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 but, but, but sex here sniper pop my anus <laughs> and a sniper insert german word here i <laughs> thanks for asmus I didn't know you were doing it. It sounds like a smell. Hensu Dilji! It does. Morty. 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 Morty, 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 Morty. You, you, you gotta, you gotta take a break, Morty. You gotta take a break. <laughs>